Hey y'all, uh, in the middle of something again and I need another sawhorse. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you the type that I like to make. And uh, I think when you see them, your eyes are pretty, uh, uh, pretty useful. Uh, I saw one of these years ago and I thought, man, that is a really good idea. So I've been making them like this ever since. And why is a big reason I like these? This right here. You'll never mess your frame up. You just replace the top when you get it all cut up. You just fold these up and put them away. Let me show you a little bit about them. They fold up like that. And all we're going to do is we're going to cut four legs exactly the same. They'll all have a 22 and a half degree uh, bevel cut here. And we're going to use three braces and we'll do those. We'll do the legs at 40 inches and we'll do the braces at 30. That way we can get this whole thing made with three uh, uh, two by fours, two by four by eight. And uh, the other thing you're going to need is some two uh, four inch carriage bolts. And I would recommend a string or strap of some type to keep it set and you'll see why that that's necessary when we get it all put together uh, so uh, let's get started all right we're ready to start making our cuts like i said they'll be 22 degrees when we're all said and done what you're going to want is basically a parallelogram something that looks like this that's what our legs are going to look like basically so we'll go ahead and mark off uh, line we can start with. I have this set at 22 degrees. I also have my saw set at 22 degrees. We also, I'd said 40 inches is how long this needs to be for the legs. You can make them shorter or taller. It's up to you. 40 inches gives me a working height of about 38 inches high. So if you need something a little lower, Make them shorter. This number's not set in stone. It's just how we're making this particular one right here. Now, when we make our cut, what we want to do, if I can find my pen, Remember, here is the, again, here is the board that we're cutting. When you do your measuring, you want your cut to be from here to here is going to be 40 inches, or here to here is going to be 40 inches, if that makes sense. So when you do your, when you do, lay in your lines, that's how you want it to be. So, as an example, Make our tape out. See, we're measuring from this corner right here. And we're going to come out to right here. So our new beveled line or angled cut would be from here up. So from this point all the way down along the end is 40 inches. And to cheat that I like to do, so when I make my first cut, so I get my first cut made, I get these here lined up good and tight, make sure everything's good, tight and square all the way down, then I will just come and drop me a mark there. Now I know that that is the same as this, and I'll do that for all four of them. Now we're going to cut our three braces, and I always like to clean up the end of these two by fours before I cut. 
just to try to make sure things are as square as they can be. And then we'll just measure 30 inches over to get our mark. And again, the reason we're doing this is so we can get all the, the boards out of, uh, all our cuts out of this one board. And then we'll just use this same board right here to make all of our cuts because we know it's the length that we want. We just rip it down, make another cut. Right, now we're ready to cut our notch in the board. So we got to get it all lined up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and get some things set up first. First thing we need to do is to establish the center of this thing. And we want to keep our 22 degree angle. It, it's important that we have these that, that we can use or this, this because we need it to be uh, able to draw parallel lines here from side to side where we have a center line and we're going to need it to transfer that angle here. So what we want to do, we know, let's get the center. The center of a two by four is really three and a half inches. Half of three and a half is one and three quarters. So we're gonna put a mark at one and three quarters. There's the center of our board. So we can transfer, remember, we want everything parallel here. We're gonna transfer, if, if I can get things oriented. Trying to stay out of the way of the camera is as much work as anything. And this is just a reference line, okay? This is not, we won't be using this line here to cut, but we need that. So now, we also want to put some other reference marks on here. So we're going to come down from the top of our cut and we're going to put a mark at three and a mark at four. This four, where it meets center here, this is where we're going to draw, uh, drill our hole. The three inch mark is a reference. And now we need to go back across. So this is our reference mark. This is a line we are going to be cutting on right here. It's just three inches down from here to here. So we want to come across. Now we want to come two inches in. So I mean, that center line can get a bit confusing, but it was just reference. There's our two, inch, our two inch mark. This is something that we need right here. We need this angle. We need this to be a right angle. So we're going to transfer. Here's a, something I could get in the camera. It will create a right angle. See, it's 90 degrees. We're going to transfer this 90 degrees angle on to this board here. And this is the cut that we need to make. This right here. That's gonna leave us. That's the magic right there. So let's get that cut out. Now I always find it easier to make these type of cuts that need to be straight and flat and not cut in with either a jigsaw or a handsaw. Because if you use a circular saw or um, the um, uh, chop saw on this, you're gonna cut in deeper on one side or the other. If you do, it's not a big deal, but I have this, so that's what I'm gonna use.
there's our cut. Now what we'll do is we'll transfer this angle to all the other boards and cut them exactly the same way. Okay, after I've got everything cut, I go ahead and drill my uh, holes and I've, you know, you've had it marked and what I like to do is just clamp the two up that are going together and go ahead and put my hole through them. There's a lot of sap in these. There we go, wash and repeat. Okay, now we're ready to um, bolt our legs together. Remember we've, when I cut them, or, or I drilled the holes, I had them lined up like this, drilled in the same spot. Now what you wanna do is just take one of them, flip it over the opposite way. What I like to do is to drive one in, when it starts peeking out the other side, put a washer on it. It's peeking out, but more. So I have something between these. Then just drive it through the rest of the way. And I did say four inch carriage bolts, but I didn't have any four inch. I've just got six inch, so I have to cut mine off. Just drop your washer in. You don't have to get them tight right now. In fact, you don't have to get them real tight anyway. But, there you go. Now, we're gonna tack our legs together. And something that's important and to keep in mind when you're putting these together is you want the legs to be mirror, Im the, the, the pair of legs to be mirror images of each other. You see how I have these not showing the face on the inside and the face being shown on the outside? That's gonna be pretty important when we put the, uh, the braces on. I'll show you why. Okay, here's where we get the rest of everything put together. The main thing here is that you get it square. So we're gonna butt up against that board so I know that's in. So what we wanna do is make sure. Now, these are arbitrary numbers. You use whatever you want. Just make sure you do the same thing on each side. But I like to come in from the top. I like to come down about 11 inches. That'll give me a close right there. Again, this doesn't have to be exact, but it doesn't need to be square. So we get it square with one board. Let's grab us another speed square. That'll be helpful. And we want it to where it's even with the outside because we're going to be attaching these two boards here to the outside and we want it flush with the outside. So let's just move it up. We get it squared with one board, then we get it squared with the other. Okay. And where's our mark at? There's our 11. Come up, and we're pretty flush with the side again. This isn't exact because you can use whatever board you want. And then what I do is I love these decking screws. I use them for all kinds of stuff. So one in. There we go. Now, just wanna make sure that we're square with the other side. See where's our arbitrary mark is. Mark that one ahead.
And the thing to remember about this, these are saw horses. You're not making furniture. Things just have to be close. Um, people can get too caught up in some of this stuff about the exactness of it. You just don't want to cause yourself a problem because it's something you could have avoided. But, so want to lean on me. That's what it is. Okay, we're square along there. Okay, now we're going to drop a couple in there. Remember, outside and outside. Now, again, same thing from the bottom, come up about 11 inches. Put our other board again outside to outside. Let's get it squared up on that and flush with the edge. And come and check our square over here. We should be. It's close enough. Yeah, don't get hung up. And I'm guaranteeing these two by fours, these framing two by fours, they got all kinds of little bends and bows in them too. So. Now, all we do is flip it over. What I like to do is about the same thing here. So the bottom's close. You don't have to do that, just my little thing. And this will be bolted inside to inside. squared up on it. Feels good. It matters, we got both up down, but Oop, got me a wrong one in there. Inside to inside. That's it. There we go. Well, here you go. In just a few minutes, you made yourself a sawhorse. Now, what you need a cable or string in here is you, so it can only open up so much. You want it to try to stay tight. So, again, that's scientific. Just helps if you tighten your Drill up. Just drill a couple holes. And I just run some, uh, I use paracord. You can use anything you want.
show. Just make sure you have a knot that's bigger than the hole that you just drilled so it cannot be pulled through. And then <laughs> I can find my wire. Just push it through this way. to it. Just want to pull it tight. What we do is just pull it on around and tie it off however you want to do it. But that makes it so it can't keep opening. And there you go. So now you can cut wear this thing here out when you're done your two by four just throw it away get you another one to put on there when you get finished with your sawhorse just fold it up and hang it up that's all there is to it these are really handy uh again don't uh don't get all hung up on something not being perfect all the point of this thing is is to be up off the ground and holding you a board level so you can cut. Anyway, hope you found this useful. And as usual, good luck with your projects.